So I am going to share a memory plan with you. I'm using a kit from Nikki Plus 3. Here are the different sheets in the kit. I also grabbed some washi from Simply Gilded. I've got pictures and I've got my album of rose gold foiled stickers and my character stickers. So this is the stuff that I usually grab for doing a memory plan with me. So I always use a kit in my memory planner, whether it's from my own shop or from someone else's. I really like the aesthetic of these Nikki Plus 3 kits. They're really pretty. Um, and then I always have pictures from the week that I have taken and printed out. I also have some different albums with foiled stickers of um, sorted by foil color. So this kit has rose gold gold foil. So I grab the album of rose gold sticker of rose gold foil, and then I also have character stickers that I grab as well. So those are kind of the things that I have. So while I'm laying down the base, I'll just talk a little bit about my process for memory planning. So I do have a planner that I keep notes in every day. Realistically, I write in it several times a week. I ideally would write in it every day, but a few times a week is usually pretty good. So it's an Erin Condren softbound horizontal planner, which is perfect for just jotting down notes about what happens every day. And then I can refer back to that as I work on my memory planner because um, I have been very behind on this recently. But even when I'm up to date on it, I might be a couple weeks behind and I cannot rely on my memory for that. So having the um, notebook helps a lot. My um, my husband calls it my memory planner in sweatpants uh, because it's where all the information is, but it looks pretty ugly in there. And then I make it look pretty when I put it into the actual memory planner. So again, going through here and putting down the base for the week, you'll notice that I'm not whiting anything out. And that is because I was out of white out at the time of doing this, but I was really motivated to get back into my memory planner and decided to not let perfect be the enemy of good. But I do have more white out now, but usually things like the days of the week at the top, I would be whiting those out. The premium matte paper is more opaque than removable matte. So it isn't awful in terms of showing through. And these colors aren't too light, but in a, in a perfect world, I would have been whiting stuff out as I went. So I've got my base down. So now I can start putting in things. Oh yeah, and there you can see me. I was moving around my um, notebook so I could see um, my plans. And I've got some pictures here. I print them out six to a sheet on four by six photo paper. I print them myself. I have gotten, I feel like the pictures at Walgreens and CVS, the quality has really declined recently. So I think I get better pictures just printing them at home on a, on the printers I use for my stickers. So I just print out the pictures by myself. So we started off this week in Kentucky. We met my family who lives in Chicago halfway um, and Kentucky is the in-between point. And we'd met in Kentucky last year for Labor Day too. And that worked pretty well for making the drive equidistant. So we went to a different part of Kentucky though than we went to for last Labor Day and rented a big house and all stayed there together. And so we had a really nice weekend, but on Memorial Day itself was when we were packing up and getting ready to leave. So on that morning, we were packing up and having breakfast and then getting ready to go. So you'll see, oh, and here I'm going back and adding a full box to my sidebar. So you'll see that for a lot of things where I don't have pictures, I will add a character sticker or a uh, foiled icon to go with the text that I'm writing down. Um, and so that's part of what I really like about memory planning is kind of being able to weave together these different things and different elements and stickers. So like there I'm using a car sticker from the kit to mark that we drove home at that point. So then using some of the cut washi as a divider there and now I'm looking at my foiled stickers. Um, I was looking for an icon, but ultimately decided not to use one. And there I'm putting the box at the bottom. So then I see how much room I have above it and kind, can kind of space out the stickers. Um, and there I did layer an icon over it for grocery shopping. Then the last thing that I'm marking here is I'm using this um, sticker from Stick With The Plan Co of a girl filling an order of stickers. Uh, we were kind of behind on Fern Creek stuff and Danielle came every day while we were gone and got me caught up. So it was amazing to come back and see in the basement that it was like the sticker fairies had been working all weekend and Danielle got a ton of work done while we were gone, which is good. Because as you'll see this week, my big focus was getting new releases out and 
we were behind for various reasons, but one of the things was that we had both the July and August Erin Condren kits to do because I had just gotten the new planners after my launch day order got lost by FedEx. So getting those um, all measured and figured out was a bit of work. And then on top of that, um, actually making the kits and having to make four monthly kits for each size. So um, you'll see a lot of working on new releases throughout this week because that was my main focus. Um, then this picture here that I'm adding is of a board game called Dominant Species. So on Tuesday afternoon, I went over to my friend Sam's house and a few of us played this game. It's a really fun game, but I've only, this was only the third time I'd played it because it takes a long time in this, this iteration. Well, I guess to be fair, we were waiting for one of our friends to get there, but from the time I got to Sam's house to when I left was five hours. So it was, even if the game itself was maybe more like four hours, it was definitely a long involved game, but a lot of fun and fun to be able to take advantage of the flexibility that I have in the summers to go play a four hour board game in the afternoon with my friends um, who fortunately also have pretty flexible schedules. So then you'll see here, Often I'm flipping through my books of character stickers, trying to find the right um, character. And I usually know kind of what I have and where it is, but sometimes I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. But I have like stickers grouped together. So you see, especially I have tons of laptop stickers because I use those a lot. So here I was marking that I was working on new releases for most of the day. And then I also put this picture of a turtle in. Um, like I mentioned in my recent plan with me, I have been seeing a lot of wildlife, including seeing a turtle, which was a lot of fun because Brian spots turtles a lot, but I have not seen them. And this one was pretty close to the house and it was pretty, it was really fun to see that. So then putting a full box in and then putting another box at the bottom to mark our regular Wednesday night game night and what we played. So this week, I also, in addition to doing new releases, I played a lot of board games. So you're going to see that as well. So that is the first half, and now I can flip over to my second half of the week. So I'm getting pictures ready that I want to put in the second half of the week here. So getting these cut out, and you can see I write the, I hand write the date onto the, um, next to the photos so I know where I want to put them in. And some stickers can get moved like one day or another. They aren't necessarily for one specific day, but I also tend to print out stickers for a few weeks at once. So that's why you see there's photos there that I'm not actually using. And so I, but having the days on there helps me to remember like even which week I'm gonna put them in. So I've got all of my pictures ready to go. And so now I am going to start filling in the days for the second half. So again, working on new release prep and especially working on the new EC stuff. There was a lot to do. And so using one of my laptop stickers because those work well for doing Fern Creek work or for doing regular work or for all kinds of different things. So laptop, laptop, laptop stickers come in pretty handy. And then I had a work, call with work about some administrative stuff. So I put that in as well. And then here again, I'm going to, um, or not, I thought I was going to do something here that I'm not doing. Um, but yeah, there we go. So now I'm putting in another sticker with this, using this really cute Zoom sticker from Happy Daya with a panda. Um, we had small group on Zoom that week because our small group leader had pretty bad case of COVID. So we did not want to meet in person. Um, so now on Friday, this is where you're going to see, I'm going to start working from the bottom up. And so sometimes I do this if I know, like if there's more stuff at the end of the day that I want to make sure I have room for, because I often have a lot more stuff written down in my memory planner than I actually put in for every day. Here you're going to see, I'm flipping through the character stickers a lot because I was looking for stickers for staying up late. And I know that I have the stickers and I found them later when I was doing other memory planning later in that week. Um, but I just ended up using a girl with a laptop instead of a staying up late sticker, but they were kind of not in the place that I was expecting. So I usually know what stickers I have and I can find them pretty easily. But occasionally I was like, I know I've got staying up late stickers. I know I didn't use them all. Then here I baked forgotten meringue. Um, that is what the picture is of. It looks kind of ugly, but it is delicious. My niece saw that picture and asked if it was a picture of a baking disaster that I had made, but no, it is just a light, airy, summery, refreshing dessert that looks pretty ugly. Um, so 
So then, oh, this was, <laughs> I was wondering why I had that long pause there. I was looking up how to spell meringue because it was, the spelling was just not coming to me and I had to stop and make sure that I was spelling it correctly. So I had to consult the Google about the correct way to spell meringue. So finishing in, filling, finishing, filling in that day. Um, and again, kind of skipping up to the top here and then putting something at the top and, um, you know, seeing what kind of spacing and room that I have. So talking about working on listings pretty much all day that day. Um, listings take a while and ideally I'm not doing them the day before releases go up, but sometimes it happens. And you can see there, I put the full box upside down first to make sure it would fit before I tried to shoehorn it in. Then I'm putting down a picture of the one of the new releases and it's fun for me to see the new releases in my memory planner as I flip back and remember what stickers I was working on at the time because I do have like a lot of memories associated with the different kits which is maybe kind of weird but it's fun to be able to see that um, and you're going to see this day is going to get two different pictures which often doesn't happen because I want to have room for other things but it was kind of the biggest things that their biggest things that happened that day so not too much else. I did some weeding, so I put that in there as well with a cute Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, gardening sticker. And then I'm putting in another picture here of the game night we had on Saturday night. And with this, because there wasn't room to put a sticker to label the name of the game, I was trying to put a sticker on top of it. And then I realized it wasn't big enough, but I could not get that sticker off the picture. And I could have reprinted the picture, but that was gonna be a lot of hassle. So. I just improvised and used a hyphen and made it work. So then on Sunday, last day of the week, so starting off with church. And then um, I had to keep working on new releases. I try not to do Fern Creek stuff on weekends, but again, we had been behind for some time, like really behind for like two months. And so working through this weekend was what I needed to get myself so I was not gonna be behind anymore. So it was definitely worth it to do some work and get the new EC stuff finished up over the weekend. So that was what I spent a lot of the weekend doing. And then here I'm grabbing a Netflix sticker to mark that Brian and I were watching Space Force, um, which is, we, we usually have like one show that we watch in the evenings when we're doing jigsaw puzzles and another show that we will like sit down and watch intentionally on the weekends. And so right now we are watching Space Force for a kind of weekend sit down show. And that's fun too, to mark what we've been watching and to be able to flip back through later and be like, oh yeah, I remember when we were watching that thing. Um, and then unfortunately I only used one of those really cute boxes from the kit, kind of layering boxes. Um, they just did not make their way in, but I put a foiled phone icon in the middle to mark that I talked to my mom. And then in that extra space, I didn't really have anything else that I needed to um, mark for my week. So I put a flag in there to fill up that space. So then in the sidebar, I'm putting a box down to mark what I was reading that week. And then you'll see that I'm gonna do some journaling in the sidebar. So I usually just write some kind of general thoughts and overviews about the, the week. And it's a nice place to put some like bigger picture things or maybe things that I didn't put in any of the specific days cause it was kind of going on. But then I'm able to see like what was the main thing. And it's nice cause it's not so, I've never been a journaler. So it's not so much room that I feel a lot of pressure. I can write that much in the sidebar of the planner. So that is what I do with the sidebar. So this is what I have left over from the kits. You can see I used quite a bit of it. And here's the full story.